This is Pro Series Off Topic. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pro Series Off Topic. This is episode six. Excited to talk about, obviously, Country Music Weekly, Memorial Day, and this week on Pro Series Podcast, the main podcast. Um, today, something a little bit different. I am actually recording this episode. I will not be releasing the whole episode in video form. This is more for just soundbite use. Those who don't know what sound bites are, they're basically just a trailer for a podcast or whatever. Just think about it as kind of like a movie trailer, but for the podcast episode itself. So that will be coming out probably as a reel or something. I'll try to do that every week. Can't promise anything. <laughs> but it's been really fun recording this off-topic um, podcast, and I will re- release a episode later on about how to make a podcast. I've had quite a few people, and I've helped a few people on how to start a podcast. It's actually very easy. I use a program called Spotify for podcasters. It used to be called Anchor. That's the host site I use. Um, They make it super easy for you, but it's been kind of cool. They give you an app and you're able to look at the analytics in the breakdown of each episode. And ever since I started this off topic series or branch off the pro series, um, it has grown for almost 10,000 downloads which is crazy um, that just an episode of me just talking about nonsense of you know country music or any of these off-topic um, hobbies that I have is crazy. They've been doing really well. And like I said from the beginning, the country music thing has been kind of a surprise. I've always just shared with um, all my stories of like great songs that I like or albums and and I get the most interaction with them more than a lot of my design stuff, which is insane. So I just thought, let's bring it into a podcast. And I always end the podcast or in this off-topic podcast, talk about the media-based chart um, in country music and top five songs and any type of news, new music, um, kind of go over it all. And now let's get into this episode. Um, I wanted to start talking about Memorial Day and the meaning of it, you know, a lot of us, you know, we we get excited, which is obvious. It's totally fine to get excited about a three-day weekend, but remembering why we have a three-day weekend is very important. I think we get kind of caught up in our own lives and kind of forget about how we got to where we are and who fought to get us to where we are today. Um, And, you know, by definition, Memorial Day is meant to honor and remember the men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice and died fighting for our freedom. Um, none of us, if it's me being an interior designer, podcaster, anybody that's a teacher, singer, actor, um, we could not be doing what we love if it wasn't for those men and women who sacrificed their whole entire lives, their families' lives to fight for our freedom. It is the most um, courageous thing that anybody could do give us, give a whole country that people that they don't even know, um, freedom because they love the country so much. It's amazing to see. Um, and it's a meaning that I hope if you're going to a picnic this weekend or go to, uh, you know, a pirate game or, you know, a sporting event, you remember why we have this time off and remembering, um, how great of a position we are in, um, because of those men and women sacrificing their lives. So we could have the freedom to do what we can do and what we could love and the hobbies that we have and continuing to do our favorite things. Um, so it's definitely important to remember the, the whole meaning um, of Memorial Day. But let's get into country music after that. Um, you know, I will talk about the new country music in a second, but let's talk about the media base chart and the top five. So last week, Tyler Hubbard was at number one with Dancing in the Country. Those who don't know, Tyler Hubbard was one part of um, Florida Georgia Line. We will talk about the other part later on, um, Brian Kelly. Um, But number one this week on the Media Base chart is Morgan Wallen at Last Night. I think there hasn't been one off-topic episode so far that we haven't talked about either a a record being broken by Morgan Wallen or a number one song on if it's Billboard or the the media base. Um, He is just insane right now with the records that he's um, doing. He just released his 
latest single. He, he has like three songs on the chart, which is absolutely amazing that someone could do that. But he just released his next country single off of his um, 36 song album. Um, the song is Everything I Love, which has been one of my favorites since the beginning. It's very country and um, it's a fun song. Um, so I'm excited for that one. That will probably be number one in like a week. Honestly, um, number two right now is Dan and Shay with you. Number three is the reigning winner, Tyler Hubbard at Dancing in the Country. Number four is Scotty McQuarrie, It Matters to Her. And at number five is Megan Maroney, Tennessee Orange. She is currently the only female in the top 10. Um, the next female looks like coming in at number 12, Justin Moore and Brasilla Block at You, Me, and Whiskey. That's a song that kind of snuck up on me. It came out. I thought it was okay, and then I saw it on CMT, I think, last weekend, the Hot 20 Countdown, and ever since then, I haven't been able to stop listening to it. It's such a good song. Um, Priscilla Block is definitely, I think she's going to have a gr huge career after this song. I love how an A-list um, country artist could bring in someone that's new and just help them with their career. It's 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 a great and. She's amazing on the song, so it's it's awesome. I think she, if I'm not mistaken, she was part of the TikTok house over in Nashville, um, but I'm not sure. There's you know there's this house in, uh, in Nashville that it's a bunch of creators, kind of like the hype house. If anybody saw that on Netflix, they're just digital content creators that live in a house and they just work together and uh, make content for social media. I think she was one of them, but I'm not 100% sure, but definitely someone to look for in the future um on to more new music this week i'm a huge jake owen fan always have been i saw him in college um and it was at a live you know we i went to iup and we the cool check center it's not huge um so we had pretty good seats and still to this day it's still one of my favorite concerts jake owen was just unreal his music is I feel like he's such an underrated artist, but he's also very A-list. Like he's had n numerous number ones, but he's just not in your face. Like he's not on talk shows. He's not doing all of this stuff, but he's still super successful. And I love that, that he doesn't have to be in front of your face 24 seven to be successful, but he just released or announced his new um, album coming out on June 23rd called Loose Cannon. He came out with four songs with that. Hot Trunk Truck Beer, Solo Solo, and then On the Boat Again, which is kind of like a remake of On the Road Again by Willie Nelson. Um, but, you know, Jake Owen puts his own summertime spin on it, On the Boat Again. And then Nothing is a very cool song. The moment you play, you'll be transported back in time to the Andy Griffiths show. He kind of adds that whistle from the theme song. And the, throughout the song, it's kind of in the beginning and kind of the end of the chorus. It's a pretty cool song. Um, I think that's also going to be a cool summer song, but everything Jake Owen does. I'm a huge fan. You'll probably hear me kind of talk more about this artist that I, I like the most on here just because, you know, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit biased on those artists. Um, but another one, Dirk Bentley, you probably remember a few years ago, came out with his kind of cover band um, called Hot Country Nights. He released um, two songs, uh, Midnight Rodeo, which is the the actual title of the album but he also came out with a song called dark with darla mcfarlane aka laney wilson um called harassment um it has two meanings to it i want you to go listen to it it's a very funny song it kind of goes over something that kind of why laney wilson kind of blew up on tiktok it's kind of it's you know it's a very well written song that could go to country radio don't know if it will but it's a very funny lyric if you listen to it, um, definitely. So the, and then uh, Brian Kelly, the other half of Florida George Line, came out with a single called See You Next Summer. Um, he's had a couple um, releases in his solo career. Um, this one's a pretty f good one. He, he's very good on the catchy songs, um, summary catchy songs. So hopefully this catches on and gets him to another number one. Um, and then lastly, uh, Little Dirk, the, the duo that we never realized would be so awesome a couple years ago when Little Dirk and Morgan Wallen came out with a song called Broadway Girls, which blew up. He released another song with Morgan Wallen on his new album, Almost Healed, um, called Stand By Me. It's less um, 
in your face than Broadway Girls and less upbeat. It's um, kind of slower on the Morgan Wallen part, but I love it. It's a great change of pace for both of them. Um, and I think it's also going to be a huge hit again because, you know, when they get together, it's going to be a huge hit. Um, but another ending with the country music, um, going on to the pro series that's going to be released on Tuesday. Um, I, this is another in-person one. Uh, I recorded this probably a month and a half ago. Um, I went to how kitchen and bath or how designs their kitchen and bath showroom in Zillion Opal and recorded an episode with their owner, Cindy Slayback and their designer, Christina. Um, we kind of talk about everything, design trends, um, their business, how they got their business, um, a little bit about their showroom. Um, we go through it all and it's going to be a great episode. Definitely stay tuned for that. Again, it's in person. So definitely try to watch that on YouTube or Spotify um, or wherever video formed podcasts are allowed. <laughs> um, but let me know if you can't access that I will always sh shoot you a, um, a link um, and again thank you for listening to Pro Series Off Topic and I will talk to you next weekend